event to happen, and I'm going to read their names, and we thank them gratefully. First is Carl Gravina of the Gravina Wealth Management Group of Wells Fargo Advisors, Marsha Dubois of Kristen's Bakery and Bistro, Carolyn Edwards of Sunflowers Cafe. Carolyn and Marsha did a lot of this food, and it's wonderful food, I have to say. Yes. Mary Schofield of In the Company of Flowers, who did the flowers. Uh, Colleen Dreyfus of Perfecta Wines, who's over there in the corner. Uh, Cheshire Oil Company, Hampshire First Bank. Dale and Greg Pregent of Pregent Antiques and Auctions. You'll be hearing more from them shortly. Anne and Carl Jacobs and Barbara Jones. All these people sponsored this event. And I also want to acknowledge the hard work and long hours of the auction committee. Uh, Susan Landers Gilbert, who spent a lot of time on this, and Gail Currier in particular, spent many long hours making this event what it is so far, and what I hope it will be a great success. Uh, I hope you all enjoy yourself tonight, and uh, I guess I have one piece of business to do. Ring this bell. Really so, loud, please. Really loud, okay. That kind of hurts my ears. <laughs> that means the silent auction is closed. Thank you one and all for participating, and may you be the highest bidder. So now I'd like to ask Bob Weeks, one of our trustees, to uh, come forward and continue the program.
series of pictures of historical subjects. Each picture in the series will show that same subject in the time period in which each of these gentlemen lived, or in the case of Mr. Brumrell, still lives. <laughs> For example, here's a horse, a stagecoach that ran between Concord and Keene, and a jeep. <laughs> what about that, huh? I'll challenge our panelists to identify the subject and answer one question, namely, what's the historic point? In this case, it's pretty obvious, right, audience? It's how our Cheshire County got, or gets its mail today. And of course, you, our audience, are invited to play along with us, but please, no coaching of the panelists. Okay, here we go. May I have the first slide, please? Okay, Colonel, what's this, and what's the point? Well, that's my tavern just down the street, and the point is, that's the day I led 29 loyal militiamen on a march to Concord, Massachusetts on April 22, 1775 to support our besieged countrymen at the start of the revolution. Very good. And number two, Reverend Barstow. Uncle Sam, do you think we can have a little more light? Uh, I think we can. Our eyes are not what they used to be. <laughs> Turn left onto the road to Ash Swamp, you 
you'll soon come to this spot where that arrow is, where my friends Abel and Nathan Blake have a sawmill. The point, well, they don't really listen to me, but I keep telling those boys that if they dam up the stream, they'll get a bigger mill pond where that second arrow is, and they could maybe start a woolen mill there. And that other arrow, <laughs> that bottom ground to the left, would make a great location for a house with that unobstructed view of Mount Manhattan. Most insightful, Colonel. Nice reading of those lines, too. <laughs> Important. 
because it chronicles all the good works I've done during the, the 50 years I've served in Keene. And I'll drink to that. <laughs>
You know how metal, metal, uh, precious metals is going up in value? Tell them what sterling was today announced. $17.60 an ounce today. That's right. So that means it's all got to be. Yeah, I was going to say it's, it's going to be <laughs> at least a couple of pounds of sterling in there. Thank you. Now we're looking for $65. $65 for the candlestick. We've got $60 looking for $65 for the candlestick. Thank you. $65 now looking for $70 on the candlestick. $70 on the candlestick. We've got $65 looking for $70. Are we all in and done? I've got $65 on the left looking for $75. $70. Are we all done at $65? Just in time, I've got $70 in the back, looking for $75 back to you. Yes. I have $75, then it's $80 to, to advance. I have $75 here and for $80. To the line. You're good. I have $75 <laughs> looking for $80. I have $75 looking for $80. Yes, $80 is in. Yeah. Thank you so much. Looking for $85. I have $80 in the back, looking for $85 on the Sterling Canvas. Yes, they got it. $85. $85 yeah. now looking for $90. I have $85 looking for $90. I have $85 looking for $90. Are we all in and done at $85 looking for $90? Sold $85. Awesome. Thank you very much. And what's the number? 39. Could I just make an announcement? You all have a bid paddle in your folders, and there's a number. Oh, I got 25, 30. <laughs> Somebody give me 
me $120. I got $120 just in time, $130 now. She's looking to see who's bid to get the $130. Would you give me $130 just one time and go see if it works? Go like this. You go like this, it hurts your neck. I got $120 over here. $130, $130, $130. I've got $120 now on the gift certificate. Any advance? Sold right here to number 55. Here, you want to do a couple of right? Uh, thank you. All right, up next, we're going to have, this is uh, lot number S1, and uh, this is actually a really a good one. This is a cocktail party for 20 at the Manadnock Fine Arts Gallery. Uh, you can invite closest friends to a little intimate cocktail party at Keene's Finest Art Gallery, and uh, also it'll be catered by Kristen's Bistro and Bakery, and award-winning wine provided by Big Fish Wines, and the party must be held before April 30th of 2010, so you've got about six months there to plan that. And we have a current bid of $200. And again, this is a party for 20, so it's being catered, so you get some food and you get wine, including with that price. And we have a current bid of $200. And I'd like to, who give me $225 for that party right there? That's a nice party. I have $200 bid looking for $225. It's catered with food and wine, should be a very nice time. They always have very nice artwork up there, too. I've got $200 yes, bid right, the right there. Thank you. I have $225 looking for $250. I have $225 looking for $250. I have $225 looking for $250. Let's make it easy. How about $235? We'll do it there. I have $225 looking for $230. He's angry. You're cutting me. $235 right there, okay? We'll go back to $245. $245. $255. Yep. $265, $275, $275, thank you, $285, I have $275 in the front, looking for $285, again, this is a cocktail party for $20 at the Manadnock Fine Arts Gallery, you get wine, and you, know, you, you can bid on this side too, wine and food, <laughs> okay. I have uh, two, I'm sorry, I, I, it was two, at $200, $275, looking for $285, he's in for $285, $295 back to you, $295, he's in. Let's make it an even $300, that sounds good, all right, $300, he's in. How about $310 back to you, sir? I have $300 in the middle looking for $310. I have $300 bid looking for $310. Are we all in and done at three? Oh, is that your phone? Okay, I have $300 looking for $310. Are we all in and done? Sold, $300, thank you very much, and that's number 85. $40 and 
and $55, and $60, and $65, and $70, $70, $70. I have $65 looking for $70. I have $70, $75. I've got $70 looking for $75. I've got $70 on the aisle looking for $75 on the nice bracelet right there. Are we all in and done? I've got $70 looking for $75 on the Anthony Topher bracelet. Sold $70. Congratulations, number 85. All right, the next item. Okay. Now we do have a lot S8 rent the rum real, but we're gonna make we're gonna move that to the last item so we we'll get everyone off. Excuse, off me. That. Excuse me, um, yeah. Mayor. I had so many people talk to me about this apron, and you know I just think somebody ought to buy this tonight, and you know okay. I want to bid on it. All right. So five dollars for it. Five dollars. Come yeah. on, what are you cheap? Come on. <laughs>
They had a uh, uh, cache for old wood stoves up there yesterday, and this is even before the wood stove. You, you know how this works? Everybody know? How this? Does anybody doesn't know how this works? If you don't know how this works, raise your hand and I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, they learned that trick already. <laughs>
And I got a $75 dining bid, and he'll give me $80 for this one. I'm looking for $80 on this, $75 or $80. Angela, you sell these, Greg. You do better than you. I got $75. I'm looking for $80 on this particular one. This is a very nice one here with the horses and the carriages. Where's the fellow with the horse and carriages up there? $75. I'm looking for $85. I'm looking for $85 just in time now. Thank you very much. $95. $95. $95. You can bid on this side over here. I got $85. I'm looking for $95 on this particular one of the horse and the carriages. And any advance on $85. No? Sold to the lady over there, the number. Did you get the number over there? I did, okay, thank great. you. Now, this is a very interesting one. This is S11 in your uh, catalog. You know, we're used to going to auctions where you pay, you know, once you buy it, if you, if you bid $100, you pay $115 or $120. So this is a real good deal for auctioneers, uh, for you, for going to, to bid today, because you're only going to pay what you bid for. All right, now we have S11, Ken Burns Studio. This is a tour for two persons. Tour the Florentine Film Studio with Ken Burns, the award-winning documentary maker of the recently released The National Parks, America's Best Idea. The high bidder will receive a personal behind-the-scenes tour of the Walpole Edit House. This exciting tour will allow two individuals to meet Ken Burns and learn, learn more about the work of Florentine Films. Must be used before November 1st, 2010. So you've got plenty of time to set it up and enjoy it. And I hope that some of you have had a chance to watch this whole one that they just had in the National Parks. It's great. It would be a wonderful tour. We have an opening bid of $400, and I'm looking for $425. I have now $450. Anybody? $450 over there, $475, $475. $475, $475, $475 on the lady, $500 now, $5 and a quarter, $550, $575, $600, $600, $600. I have $575 on the gentleman, $600 here, $6 and a quarter, $650 if you would. 650, yes, and I have 675, $700 now, $700, 750, let's go to 725, 750 on you, ma'am, 750 one time, one time. I have 725 on John. This room's Hitler. making up yeah. for lost ground. <laughs> <laughs> I have 725, 750 way of back, 775, 775 now, 775. Oh. Don't talk to the wife. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I have $800 on the Ken Burns Film Studio Tour, and I would like $825. Any advance on $800? Sold way up back to number 10. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. on the energy audit. This is a 
$600 value. I've got 110 looking for 120. 120, thank you very much. $130 to you, sir. Very good. $140 to you. $140, $150, $160, $170, $180, $180. He's in. $190, $200, $200, $200, $210, $210. Oh, uh, it's not a good sign to put his card down. <laughs> I, I know you're in trouble when they look away from you. Go, yeah, <laughs> I've got $200 in the back looking for $210. I have $200 in the back looking for $210. Are we all in a dot at $200 looking for $210? Sold $200. Thank you very much. And what would you want to do? I had a quick little story with that. Is that's part of the stimulus money that came out of Washington, and everybody was complaining that I was going to Washington and working hard not to get any money. In. And out of that, I got about three million bucks for the whole Cheshire County out of, for the South Wales community. <laughs> we have served so many low-income families with that program. It's just been just been wonderful. Now, what's what all we got right? Next, here? all right. Now we got the, the the prime one of the evening here. All right, this is number P five. This is the oh, historic okay. Horatio Colony Museum miniature. Uh, the stately federal the style house located at Main Street was the home of Horatio Colony, descendant of one of Keene's historic oh, really? families. Uh, painted by a Monadnock region artist in colored pencil and is unframed, and it's five by seven. And there it is right there. We have a $75 current bid on that, looking for $80 on that. Yes. $80, thank you, looking for $90. I have $80 looking for $90 on the nice little piece right there. I have $80 looking for $90. $90, thank you, $100 back to you, $100 back to you. I have $90 in the front looking for $100. We have $90 bid on the nice little painting right here looking for $100. 90 is bid looking for $100. Are we all in and done? On the cute little painting right there, we've got $90 looking for $100. Sold $90. Thank you very much. Right in front of there, number eight is the number. Okay, I'll do this one and then why don't you do that, why don't you do that one? All right, I'll do, uh, this is going to be P7, and this is Pewter is Ageless, a postcard miniature. Again, another fine colored pencil painting of Delilah's in a pewter cup. Uh, it's an unframed piece by a Benadnock artist who signed it on the reverse. And uh, again, it's five by seven. We have a $75 opening bid on this and looking for $80 on this piece right here. $80, thank you very much. Looking for 90, I have 80 bid, looking for 90. I have $90, thank you, $100 back to you. I have $90 looking for $100. I've got $90 looking for $100. How about $95? Will that help anyone? I know $100, that's three digits. That could scare you. I've got $90 looking for $95. $90 is bid looking for $95. Are we all in and done? At $90 looking for $95, sold $90. Thank you very much. And that's okay. And now we have a very special one right here, and uh, we'll, let the, we'll let the mayor do this one. First of all, I'm going to give you all an opportunity to get I'll say even or something. Alan is right from up front. Alan is up front up here today. And this is number S8 in your program. <laughs> Rent. His head is too big already. <laughs> Thank you very much. 220, 220. 
230, 240, 250. That light's good enough there. You're at $210, sir. $210. I'm looking for $220 for this priceless Allen rum roll this evening. Any advance on $210? Sold to the gentleman for $210. Thank you very much.